you guys, it's me Morgan. Today I just want to come and show you guys my hair um, because I crocheted faux goddess locks in my hair. So like over the summer last year of 2017, I did crochet locks in my hair, but they weren't goddess locks. I'll leave the link to that video below, but these were goddess locks that I did. And then also last year, I also got like individual goddess locks that somebody did for me. Like the whole like braid your hair, wrap it around, add the hair, like all that. So this time I wanted to try something different with the crochet. So I got the goddess locks from Free Trist, and I will show you that in a second. Um, but first, I just want to show you guys my bun because <laughs> I just got done working out. And this is how I wear my hair when I do work out when I have these. It does take a couple minutes for me to get my hair up in the bun. Uh, I use like three rubber bands to get it up, but yes. So um, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what chair I use. And also, don't worry, I'm going to take the bun down so you guys can see what it looks like down. And then I'm gonna also put it in my favorite hairstyle for you. So uh, first, this is the hair that I use. And this is the Freetress braid hair. And I got this from Sam's Beauty. Dot com they literally have every type of hair you need on there especially like crochet so this is the free Trist braid goddess lock and I will get close so you guys can see it um so this is it and I got 18 inches I got the color 1b and um I got a lot of packs of hair I only used I think like six um I know some people use like three or four but I use six because I like a lot of hair but then I ended up taking like some of the hair out in the back because I felt like it was just too much hair so yeah so yeah this right here and then um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this down and I'm gonna show you guys what the hair looks like individually so you can see how it has the loop and everything Okay, so I'm gonna put it up, and to put it up, I just grab half of the hair in the front. And I usually get like the sides over here. Make sure the sides are up. Okay, so I take the front and then I use like the regular size rubber band and twist it around. And then it looks like this. <sighs> Hi girl. So then after that, I take it and I twist it around like this, all the way down. And then I wrap it around until it's in a bun. And I just tuck it in and then I take this size rubber band. It's like a medium size. And then I just secure it, the hair by wrapping the rubber band around it. And voila, magic. So. This is how I've been wearing the hair. This is how I like to wear my hair every time I have like crochet hair or braids in. So I think it's best on me like this. Um, it's just really, really easy to do. So when I do work out, I do like to wear it all the way up. So I'm gonna get on to like the pros and the cons of having this hair. And it might just be me because you know I'm special so the pros of having this hair are that it's very easy to maintain um slightly like it's a really like you don't have to mess with your real hair type hairstyle um there's a bunch of different styles you can wear with it um you can like literally I can sleep like this and wake up and just go um you can swim in it you can wash it you can exercise in it depending on how hard you exercise um yeah you can do whatever so like definitely if you're going on vacation and you want um a hairstyle that you don't have to worry about like this is a great hairstyle um the only con that i did have well actually i had like two is that the hair unravels so easily so what i'm talking about is so i have my hair crocheted in 
but the perimeter is individual and I did the perimeter individual so it looks a little more natural instead of having the crochet so uh, I mean it's everybody has a different preference but the thing the issue I had was I'll show you right here it unravels so easily so right here you see that like this is my hair right here and then this is the crochet hair so there's a technique that you can do to wrap the hair around um so i clearly suck at it um <laughs> but you can also put the crochet needle through the hair through the um lock and have the hair come through it but i couldn't do that it kept getting stuck so what you do is like in order to wrap it you wrap it around and then wrap it with the hair it's very confusing and I'm not really that good at it. I feel like with my other hair, I did a better job um, wrapping it. But this one, it's just like, I don't know if, if it's the texture of my hair or what, but it just always unraveled like every day. And my friend, she had this hair too, and she kind of had that issue as well. So like in the front, what is going on over here? Oh, this was supposed to be put up oops okay so even my friend had that issue so she would like okay can I get my life together whatever so my friend had that issue too so she would you know have to twist hers back so like even right here you can see if it will focus I don't know if y'all can see that but it's like unraveled up there too so that was just annoying, you know, having to unravel it, um, it unraveling and you having to ravel it back up. But if you crochet your whole head um, and put it in, like braid your whole hair down and crochet it, then you won't have that problem. So I think next time I'm just going to try and do that. You know, when I go on vacation or something, I'm just going to crochet the whole thing and not do individual. Because I did see some styles that look very, very natural and it was crocheted all the way. And then the second cut I had is just probably me. Um, when I work out, I sweat a whole lot. So, like, I just feel like this hair, like, soaks up my sweat and it just makes it smell really bad. So, I would have to keep, like, spraying it with um, moisturizer stuff on it. Um, you can wash it. I just hadn't washed it because it takes forever to dry. And I've been going to bed super late. So I didn't want to wake up. My hair is still wet. But, um, yeah. It it gets really sweaty in there. So, yeah. But, anywho. Um, I Overall, I do really like this hair. Um, I think the method I used just didn't work as well for me. So, I will be trying it again in a different method. Um, and actually when I try it again, I will record it because I couldn't record this because I was doing the individual thing and it just took forever. It took me like four hours to do this and it just wasn't working. So like crocheting the back and the braids was easy. What is going on? Crocheting the back and the braids is easy, but doing the individual thing was just, just crazy. So yeah. So anywho. But um, I'll leave the link. Um, I really only found this at samsbeauty.com. Like, I looked everywhere, and it was only on that website. So, um, yeah, that's where I got, like, other hair from, too. So if you guys want some crochet hair, and they have, like, every color, every length, like, whatever you need, they have it on that website. So I'll leave that link below so you guys can check it out. Let me know what you think about this style. If you like it if you're gonna try it or whatnot and y'all ignore this braid right here this braid so I don't know how to braid my hair backwards and I had to go to the weave shop which is horrible um and they braided my hair down but she was supposed to put this up and sew it down um and it just like fell I guess it unstitched or something and what it did something I don't know but yeah this is my hair and it keeps falling so anyway I'm about to take these out I had them in for literally a week and I can't because it keeps unraveling and I just really need to wash my hair and everything so but they are pretty pretty cute let me know what you guys think and I'll leave all the info below in the info box and I'll see you in my next video bye you guys